Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. Today, we have a 20 book submission from CGC. So let's get into her and see what we got. All right, so we got a box of books. 20 slabs, uh, modern slabs, uh, sent to CGC for grading. So if you've never sent that many, here's what you get uh, back. You get a big box uh, with some armor, nice thick armor, and then your books are um, all bagged, and they're in here and right now. This box will hold up to like, I think it's like 25 slabs, so they've got some bubble wrap here in the end. All right, I'm going to set this down on the ground, and we'll pull books out here and take a look. <clears throat> and see what we've got now <clears throat> i'm anticipating uh i don't don't really know what we got here uh, but i'm anticipating some questions so i do have ready uh a lookup key so we can look see what graders notes are if they're there if we have something that just seems out of whack all right let's take the first one out i'm not going to play this guessing game they're modern books i think that the, the majority of these books should be uh, nine six to nine eights. Maybe there's a couple nine fours in here. We'll take a look and see. That's what I'm thinking. All right, first book up here. We've got oh, look at that Action Comics 1046. Ooh, some art germ goodness there. Uh, look at that. Yeah, 9.8. We dig it. Well, it's, we should just sit here and admire this one for a few minutes, shouldn't we? <laughs> Oh, all right. Next up, this is going to be Action Comics 1050. This is the Alex Ross foil variant. Uh, and we got a 9.8. This is great. Start so far. You can see my fan, ceiling fan going above there. Kind of not a difficult book to see in here, but uh, yeah, basically... Uh, homage to the original action comics, all foily. Uh, even the backside has got that going on. Uh, anyways, it's hard to see. Too much reflections. I'm just getting rid of these bags because these bags suck. Um, they're they're good for protecting the books, but I don't want to keep them long term. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 20 from the current run. Nice David Nakayama. Uh, of course, now there's a Nakayama signing coming up because wouldn't that look Nice with the big old David Nakayama there. But I've got a bunch of Nakayama signed books. Uh, so there we go. Nice. Uh, Gwen. Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, no, nothing key. Just a Nakayama version. Next up, another 9.8. This is great. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man 14. This is a key, though. This is our uh, first appearance of Hallow's Eve. Uh, so it says Janine uh, Godby becomes Hallow's Eve. Uh, this is the Virgin variant. This is, of course, Peach Momoko. This is the stuff I love. I've said this many times if you've listened to my channel. Peach Momoko can be some people love, hater, not whatever else. But forget the watercolor for a second. I love these sketch variants because what she does with a sketch variant is something nobody else does. Usually you get these finished pencil lines. Instead, here you get the rough sketches underneath the center lines and all these other things that go into you can see some of the technique that goes into making the art and i just love that i think that's a beautiful beautiful book um yeah awesome there we go some uh this is uh batman and joker the deadly duo number one this is a mark silvestri incentive variant uh this one i was kind of worried about just because the back cover this is all black like this. Very um, much a chance for something to go wrong. There is a slightest, slightest of touch at the very corner. But that's considered a production issue. Uh, so hence it's a 9.8. Uh, very clean, great looking cover there. Mark Silvestri. Awesome. In this run of books I sent in, I had acquired some marvel packs uh they were contained like five books um 
and they only cost me like 20 bucks a piece. And inside that box, each box was each of the original 2099 books, the number one. So Spider-Man 2099, number one, Ravage 2099, number one, X-Men 2099, number one, Punisher and Doom. Uh, and I finally decided, you know what? I mean, keeping them in this pack is, it's kind of cool, but it's not, the pack didn't sell for very much. I said, let me take a look and see if any chance are these like nine, eight candidates because they're really clean. And sure enough, I opened them up. Most of the books seemed to be nine, eight candidates when I looked at them. So, uh, I filtered out some of them. I didn't send off some of the books I did. Uh, first book here is to pull it out. Cause we're going in alphabetical order. Cause that's how CGC packs them is doom 2099 and a beautiful 9.8. All right, here's a second Doom 2099, and no, 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 no. We have a 9-4. And uh, Scuff full left of front cover. Let's see, front cover, left side. Scuff. Oh... Wow. Okay. So when you hold it just right, you can see some little micro abrasions on the foil that run from about here to here, right along the binding edge. You can see where basically where in that box, it rubbed against the book in front of it. Very difficult to see. Wow. Okay. Next book up. Ooh, how about some gargoyles? This dynamite now is the king of putting out a billion covers. Uh, and this is one of their um, really high ratio variants. Um, this is for issue. Oddly enough, I ordered for issue one. The COA that came with this book said for issue one. But the book was issue two, which kind of sucks. Um, when I ordered it through Dynamic Forces, through my my. Uh, LCS. So I kind of got hosed on it, but here's number two. It's a great cover. It came back in 9.8, so that's great. Uh, David Nakayama, Virgin Variant. We got Goliath versus, uh, I forget what the hell the fake Goliath's name is. This is Miles Morales, number four. This is a Tyler Kirkham Virgin Variant. This was just a gorgeous cover, and I was like, oh, so glad it came back in 9.8, because that is a sexy cover. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yes. What's up next? We got another 2099 book. This one is Punisher 2099. Boom. Yeah. Another 98. Punisher 2099. Issue number one. 9.6. Uh, oh, okay. I can see right out the bat. There's a little non-color breaking spine tick wrinkle there. It's about a quarter of an inch long. Um, and that's going to do it. Oh, wow. Is that on the slab or on the book? There's also like a inch and a half long scratch. And I can't tell. That must. That looks like that's on the book. That would really. That can't. If that's on the book, though, though, why did it get a 9-6? I know there's no way it's going to show up. I don't think uh, I can get it to show. No. Not going to show on camera. I'm going to get light, reflection light going, go right on it. But Dang. All right, well, hey, you know, 9-6 book. We'll probably, I'll probably donate that to Comics Curing Cancer. Some of these, uh, I, I have another 9-8 uh, that's signed. So having one that's not signed, two nine eights in my collection for twenty ninety nine is probably good. I got a bunch of raws, so I'll probably take the nine six and we'll make that available at Comics Curing Cancer. Oh, here's another nine six, Ravage twenty ninety nine number one. That's unfortunate. Stan Lee, Stan Lee's last original creation. All right, well, I'm not going to try to look up a 9.6 because CGC doesn't usually put graders notes for 9.6. I was kind of lucky the 9.4 had any. All right, another Ravage 2099 number one. 
Bango, though. 9-8. Phenomenal. So I already have a 9-8 that's signed. Uh, so I got one now that's not signed. The 9-6 will make it available during Comics Curing Cancer. So if you don't know, uh, Comics Curing Cancer is coming up in October, October 20th, 21st, 22nd. Uh, it's a big event uh, put on by several of us in the community, uh, and it benefits uh, the American Cancer Society. Last year, we raised 20, over $22,000. This year, we're going to shoot for more, uh, so mark your calendar, start saving your money, because, uh, guys, there's going to be a series of auctions, there's all kinds of prizes and things we're going for, uh, trying to get, so hey, if you've got items that you'd like to donate even uh, to Comics Screen Cancer to help us out, uh, hit me up. Uh, at robs.fatstacks on Instagram, uh, uh, because hey, we we need we can use all the help. Cancer is the real supervillain. Uh, here we go. Ooh, here's a book that's getting some traction, boys and girls. Spider-Man 2099. Oh yeah, nine eight. Now I already have like two or three of these in a nine eight, and I don't care because Spider-Man 2099 is my man. As most of you who've been watching this channel for a while know, it's the first comic book I picked up was a Spider-Man 2099 book. So it's what got me back. It got got me into comics. Uh, so I am definitely hanging on to another nine eight in my personal collection. Now there were two of these, so this should be another Spider-Man 2099 book. Sure enough, I can see the red foil. And ladies and gentlemen, what the f 8.0? What do the Graders notes say? Uh, four, two. Uh, let's see here, what do they say? It says, crease, top left of front cover. Um, top left front cover. There's a crease there? Uh, oh my goodness gracious. So... Wow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, when you if you if you're again when you're holding it just right, you can see that there's actually it looks like it extends. I know it's not going to come up on camera, but from about between my two fingers, there is an, when you hold it just right, there's not color breaking at all, but you can see a little bit of a um, indentation there. Uh, that is freaking weird uh, that that's the case because I don't remember. Well, I mean, you had to hold it just right, so I, I could have missed it. Uh, but I could have sworn these books were pressed. Um, hmm. So that might be a book. This might be a book that now at an 8.0, either this will become a giveaway book or it's a book that I may crack it and uh submit it to somebody to somebody to uh try to see if they can't press that out all right what do we got this is a star wars book judging from what i can see here this is a star wars uh darth vader number 30 bang look at that i love this so there there was a variant of this that had the trade dress that was the regular one of the variant cover releases uh this was an east side comics exclusive they got the virgin variant Darth Vader in the dark being attacked by a bunch of the handmaidens. If you've been following the story of Darth Vader in this, uh, at one point he's got uh, all the, he's got one of the handmaidens working for him uh, and the rest of them are of course all trying to kill him. Uh, but this is awesome. This is uh, a Luke Ross uh, art inside, but this is a Raza cover. Um, just, I love the way the saber just illuminates everything awesome cover let's see we got a star wars mandalorian book uh issue number one this is a tyler kirkham virgin variant for unknown comics this one another mandalorian book this is an incentive variant i remember this uh image this is uh issue two i think this is the uh f it doesn't have any um notes as to what the key is, but as I recall, this is the first appearance 
of uh, Grogu uh, in this series of comics. Now, the reason I say that is if you go and you look up the first appearance of Grogu, for whatever reason, they all refer to um, this comic book series. However, I have a comic book uh, trademark that was the same thing, an adaptation of Star Wars The Mandalorian that came out a full year before this series was released and Grogu was in it. Now, it was a trade paperback, and, or I don't even know if it was really a trade paperback because it wasn't a compound, but it was a graphic novel of sorts, adaptation of the show. So does that count as the first appearance versus this, you could say, safely say this is the first appearance in comics. Um, but anyway, so that's those things. So the Mandalorian, Grogu on the cover, 9-6. Uh, this was an incentive, this was a 1 in 25 incentive variant. Um, first of all, it's a 9-6, so we're not going to get any graders notes. There is, I remember seeing this when I sent this in and thinking, is worth a gamble, we'll see. Along the very top edge here, there is a slightest... Uh, it's probably not showing up. A lot, kind of like along the edge. There's a, um, let's see, right above my finger here. You can, yeah, there you can sort of see that little white speck right there. There's that flaw. Um, it's a little bit bigger than just being the edge of the page being folded. Uh, and it comes around to the front. So my guess is that that uh, probably is the reason. Um yeah, I mean, I kind of ha thought that might be the case, but it was worth a shot because incentive variants are the ones that sit there to hold money. Uh, there's another incentive variant. There's a Greg Land, another one that came back, though, a 9 6. A great cover. Down here, there's a little bit of a pinch that. Extend, there you go. You can see it right above my. It just kind of comes around, and it's probably just enough that it's getting getting the day. All right, last book. Last twenty ninety nine books. This is X Men twenty ninety nine. I only had one of these to send in because the other one that was in the other package I knew was not a nine eight candidate. So did this one hit a nine eight or am I out of luck? Ah, fuck. I'm out of luck. And I'm a nine six. All right, I think I only have. I think I have one. Um, Actually, I know I have at least one of these in a 9.8. Um, but Ron Lim cover, 9.6. Again, I'm not going to get to see anything in the grader's notes, I bet you. Uh, I will for... There's a, there's a little bit of a crease there. Uh, for giggles, I will enter it in and see... One, two, go. Oh, we do. We got greater notes on this one. Uh, very small crunch, bottom right, back cover. Oh, jeez. you got to be kidding me. This is what they're calling. I can't even show this on the screen. There's zero chance it's going to show on the thing. It's in the... Yeah. It's like... Down here in this bottom white here, there's like a little itty bitty micro crease just at the very, very bottom. And I know there's no chance in hell this is going to come out uh, on camera. It's not going to focus on it. Maybe there, just for a moment, I saw it. There. It's absolutely insane. That's it. That hits at a 9.6. Wow. Oh, well. Guys, what do you guys think? Uh, hit the like button. I hope you will. Uh, that is going to help us um, get more views, 
commercial ad revenue, it all goes to comics carrying cancer. Um, that's my CGC submission that came back. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to sit here and watching it with me. Uh, if you have any questions about comic book grading or whatever, by all means, drop them down below or reach out to me. I'm happy to answer questions on it. I have over a thousand <laughs> slabs now, so I have a few uh a little bit of knowledge I've accumulated on uh, grading these books, um, including lots of things that you should do that I don't do, uh, which is obviously look at your books with a little bit more of a fine tooth comb. I tend to glance at them quickly and send them out. And that's stupid of me. But until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. There's a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.